Let's talk about that for a minute. How do you manage the toxicity of a virulimus? I mean, okay. Um, and I'm asking two people here who are very interested in it on either <laughs> side, and so we'll have some good answers. So. Preparation is exactly what you were saying. And I think um, what was shocking to a lot of people when they began using it was it's not just giving them an AI and saying, here's your prescription, see you in a month. Um, because the stomatitis occurs rather quickly and can be very shocking to a patient. You have this spectrum of patients, those who will suffer and suffer and not call you because they're worried you'll take their drug away and so they're drooling and unable to eat because of the mouth sores. And then the other patients who are like, I'm never taking that drug again. So you have to educate them to communicate with you, good oral care, et cetera. And I think the stomatitis is the most difficult part for patients to um, deal with. But also knowing the side effect profile, knowing to follow the glucose, knowing to follow, um, you know, have the patient be aware if they're short of breath or coughing that this needs to be followed because there is this risk of pneumonitis. So education, dose reduction, um, I usually don't hold unless the stomatitis is, is really bothersome and, and interfering with oral intake. Um, but dose reduction to 7.5 pretty quickly if, if need be, and down to 5 if need be. Um, but I don't start low and go up. I'd rather come down. So do you use steroid mouthwash? I was going to ask Hope in a minute about her steroid mouthwash. Do I do. Mouthwash? As, I don't use it as a prophylactic strategy in the absence really, of data. No, really? I don't. I, I've tried it a couple times. Um, I haven't seen anecdotally a difference. I'm waiting for the data, but I do it as a form of treatment if needed. Um, do, and you, do you use it in the community? Not a steroid mouthwash. I, sodium bicarb is the first thing I tell patients to do because they have it at home. Um, and I would call in some magic mouthwash if, if we have to. But uh, no, I've used topical triamcinolone cream, uh, for, uh, but not a steroid mouthwash. But, uh, it, I, and I, but I, I have a lot of patients that, that go away for the winter. Uh, we have a lot of snowbirds in New York, yeah, and and we really they come have, down to Terry in yeah, Orlando, exactly. right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, right. right. Uh -huh. Exactly. So my patients in the winter are down, right, uh, down to Dr. Mamanis. But uh, and and so those those are the patients when I start them on Everolimus, I really have to educate them that they, they until they find a doctor there, if they don't have another oncologist to, to call me and what to do to stop the mouth rinses. But I, I, I agree, I start a 10 milligram dose and I've been able to uh, to get the patients uh, to continue on, on Everolimus. So now Hope, do you use prophylactic steroid mouthwash? I do actually, our practice does. We use yeah. preventive steroid mouthwash in everybody. And the reason why we started doing it, you know, we had uh, been very active in the dr using the drug in Bolero too. And, you know, I found this, thing that Sarah mentioned that, you know, patients will get kind of discouraged with the mouth sores and we'd have to hold the drug for a while. Now, that having been said, we've gone over the Bolero 2 data very carefully and patients who were dose reduced, uh, dose delayed, et cetera, had the same outcome as patients who were not. And we, I did a meta-analysis of the patients who had uh, mucositis, stomatitis, uh, and the also included other indications, and those patients did just as well, if not better, than the patients who didn't get any stomatitis. So clearly, it's okay to manage it. But if we could prevent it, it would be great. These aphthous ulcers, which the oral medicine people refer to as stomatitis, not mucositis, uh, respond well to this canalog paste, you know, this uh, steroid paste you were talking about. So we started using Joyce O'Shaughnessy and myself started using this mouthwash and stopped seeing really significant mucositis. I see it rarely now. Yeah. And so we started a trial, a specific trial, the STOP trial, to look at whether or not we see a decrease in the historical rate of uh, stomatitis by using a steroid mouthwash. It's a little complicated because we used it a compound formulation with hydrocortisone tablets. You can't do that in a trial because you can't have a mixed up formulation. You have to have something that's commercially available. So it's a dexamethasone solution, so we'll see. So we, we have these drugs and clearly in the metastatic setting, you know, more than doubling of progression-free survival. So I think they're used fairly uh, commonly.